Hi guys, welcome to Original Gamers UK. I just want to give you my two cents on the whole Super Street Fighter 5 rumour. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? You know, are these characters that we've wanted for so long going to come to the game? Are the new mechanics that we really need going to come? I don't know, but I'm just going to give you my opinion on it. So let's just get straight to it with the fact that this is meant to be a free DLC expansion. And I'm going to go against what other people would probably want me to say here, and I would like much more than that it to be a physical, there to be the option of either the free downloadable option, which is what most people do, or the physical side of it. I always like to have physical media, and I'd, I'd be happy to pay for it, not full price, like let's get that out of the way, not full price, but you know, if it was like 20, 25 pounds, what would I expect for that? All the characters, all the costumes, whether they be the story form, the alternate ones, the actual paid ones, premium, whatever, all of them, including the ones that have been taken uh, away now, like the Carly's one for the CPT event. Everything so far, all the titles, all the stages, and then like 500,000 worth, uh, 500,000 uh, dollars, whatever it is, in game fight money. Like, that to me would be appropriate to do, especially if you've not played the game before, that would be a good way to introduce new people into it and be like, oh, okay, because most people's like opinion of Street Fighter V on the whole is like, it was garbage. Like That's what people think about it. I'm not saying that's what I think, I think that's what the game was like when it first came out because it was very, very lacklustre. But if they include all of these new things and then the things I'm going to get onto, but if it was that, yes. Alternatively, I'd like the other option, because that's what most other people want, is a free DLC expansion. But if they did that, obviously you'd get the new mechanics for free, you'd get the new user interface, arcade mode, story, all the stuff I'm going to go on to. But they're not going to give you the costumes for free. They're not going to give you the stages. Like You're going to still pay for all of that. You have to pay for all the characters. So I think that'd be like an option there for them to do a physical release. But yes, I know Capcom said, ages and ages and ages ago, before it was a thing, they, they would never ever do like a Super Street Fighter 5 and new iterations and it would just be frequent downloads and never physical media. But with Capcom you never know and with how hard of this journey this has been it wouldn't surprise me if they changed their mind. So let's go on to the parts of the game that are rumoured to change. Arcade mode. I can't believe I'm sitting here July 2017 and still asking for an arcade mode in a fighting game, let alone Street Fighter V. That is crazy, that blows my mind. Like when you think of fighting games, people think of an arcade mode, or like versus, like they're, they're two things you think of. And the fact that it's not got it in, wow. And if they do get it in, do it right Capcom. I don't want basically the um, character storyline, like how, not the general one, but the individual character ones. I don't want an arcade mode, that that's that easy and that just bland. I like it to be like the Street Fighter 4 one or the Third Strike one. You know, they have they have something about them, something that makes you want to kind of redo it. It's just for for us more casual players out there, we don't want to be just grinding online all the time. We want something to keep our interest but have a more relaxed approach to it. So arcade mode would be needed massively for everyone. New mechanics. What new mechanics? could they do but the game definitely needs something it's so infuriating to to watch players of clearly different skill level like you know that in your head like two players I'm not gonna give examples but you'll watch them and you'll be like oh my god that player is so much better overall at Street Fighter than what that player is but because that player is playing Street Fighter 5 the way it's meant to be played aggressive don't think 50 50s just crush counters for days, that's all they do. Then you have like a, yes, you have a more even fight, but shouldn't it be that the person who's willing to put in more time should win overall a lot more? So I, I don't know what mechanic they could do. I would like to see something more defensive based. I mean, I know we've got V-reversals, but they can be baited out and punished like heavily, so. Uh, something else, but I just think like one more big mechanic in there, but I'd love to see new critical arts Like new critical arts like how we had it for Super Street Fighter 4 And hopefully they go away uh, go the way with all Street Fighter 4 of having the choice of which critical arts you use 
Or maybe have them both on the fly. That'd be... Actually, no. Scrap that, because Geef would be broke. Oh, wait, he already is. Um, new user interface update. The whole Street Fighter V layout is just... It's just it's just weird. Like they've tried updating it like half ass with, with the updates, they've changed the pictures. That isn't what we need, Capcom. We just need it kind of overhauled. I don't know what exactly to suggest, but I just think, yeah, just just rework it, make it more user friendly. And also with like online, have them as lobbies. Like I, I know the reason for doing it was to stop people from finding their friends. If people want to do that, like it, you know, th then that's their fault for doing it. Like they're not they're not going to level up any better. You know, points are just points, but you know, real skill, you, you know, you have to grind for that. So I think you should be able to find lobbies, and in that way, you're going to be able to just find games a lot quicker, rather than having to wait around. Because where I am, the internet shit, so I get paired off with other people with shit connections, and it just makes for a whole lot of shit. Right. The main thing though. And this would be hype, because if you watched my video a long time ago about when we found out the characters that were going to be in Season 2 of Street Fighter V, like, apart from Akuma, none of those really interested me. Ed was cool, but at the time I don't think, we didn't really know he was on the horizon. So like ones like Colin, I was just like, oh, I like really couldn't care any less. So, the characters, Sagat. Yes, please. Sakura. Yes, please. Oro. Woo! <laughs> Q. Hell yes. Necro. Yes. And the other character I'm not bothered about is Sea Viper, but you know. I can. I, I can. What? One out of six. I. I can take that. And also, it's another female character, so that like evens the roster up. Because they've been doing pretty well for that actually, having male and female characters. So I'm just going to briefly go over each character and the reasons why they could be like how they could play. For example. Sagat, I'd like him to play like Street Fighter 4, but I just don't think he's going to work because as I say this game is way too aggressive. And if he does play that like Street Fighter 4, like he got bodied hard by some of the offensive characters in that game. In this game, it's a whole different ball game. Like if, if he's slow and has to anti-air how he did in Street Fighter 4, which is legit DP, which you can't react to in this game, but then again, he'll probably just do whatever else does, is like crab jab, stand jab, medium punch. Basically anything that shouldn't be an anti-air will probably be used. Sakura. Let's give her some kind of V-trigger combos like... So they look gut like Gal, they look stylish, they're really long combos. But I'd like them to have the execution... They're not going to have the execution of Street Fighter 4, but I would like for her to have the highest execution in the game. I think it, like, at least one character in this entire game should have some degree of execution heavy combo. Like, because no one really has that. Uh, especially no motion characters. Like the closest you get to it is a charge character, not Guile. Like, and even then, it's nothing on previous iterations. So, Sakura, let's have some sick Tatsu loops, like, disgusting resets. Like, that's what I want to see. Oro. I'll go into a bit more of what I would like with Oro. I can imagine Oro's V-Skill being a single Yagudama, so like the, the ball, which would give him loads of sick uh, setups. And then his V trigger, I think, would be his Tengu Stone. I, I can like kind of see it now. Like you anti air someone with like his double medium punch, you cancel it into V trigger, and then the Audi launch, and then he just roundhouses you for days or spinning back fist and pushes you to the corner. I think Oro would fit in this game like incredibly well. Like he he was always a good like at poking, zoning, offensive, execution. He's such a fun character, and you know, for those of you out there who either have never played him or never played Third Strike, you're missing out because, you know, in tournament, he was one of those characters that you didn't see very often, but when you saw an arrow, you knew you were going to see, like, some disgustingly long combos, like 30 hits plus, and, uh, yeah, I'd love to see something like that. I don't know if he'll play the same, but I'm going out there and saying that I definitely think V-Skill would be a Yagud armor, and V-Trigger would be his Tengu set. Q. V-Trigger. Boom! Like, he's going to be, like, taunting, getting more health, having, like, that bloody, like, jacket with the bomb on. I don't know, like, how they're going to do it. I think his critical art... Oh, critical art, then, for, um, I'm just thinking of Doro. Yeah, I imagine would be his other one, which is, like, the, the command grab crazy thing. So, we'll see. But with, with Q, I think his critical art has 
got to be his critical combo attack, like the high, low, low, high. And the the V trigger, I think, will be like, uh, I think there'll be some version of his taunt. He'll either power him up, give him health back, or extend his health the next round. Something like that. I, I think he should be like really unique if he's going to be in, because that's what he was before. Like, there's no other character in the series like Hugh. Like, he's weird. Like, he's, def he's unbelievably defensive with carry grabs. Probably not going to be in this. The command grab, just in general, just changed the whole way he plays. So, very, very unique, and I'd love to see Q in it. Sea Viper, uh, just make it less scrubby. Necro, drills. <laughs> drills, um, the hammer hooks. There's a, there's a lot of um, room for what could be done with Necro, and I actually find him the hardest to imagine what his V skill would be. Or, or even his critical art, because all his uh, supers in third strike, apart from like slam dance, the other two we use quite frequently. You've had the one bar massive magnetic storm, I think it was, or the electric snake, and you saw both those used quite a lot. So I don't know which one they take, but I would like to see a necro in there. I think he they're putting more aggressive. I can see them not having as many of his long range attacks and applying more pressure with his hammer hooks from close range. But guys, that's my thoughts on Super Street Fighter 5. I would actually really like that to happen. I think that would like reignite some excitement for me with the game. But if it's just a free DLC expansion, I'm still obviously going to give it a go. But I would like a physical release and then knowing that when I bought that, you just get the characters with, as and when they come out. You just have to download them. You don't have to pay the money. But that, that that's me. But you know, as you can see, I like having the physical copies. And do I think this is going to happen? I just think this will be season 3. I don't think they'll call it Super Street Fighter 5. I just think in the next season they will have these updates. And I'd be really happy if those are the character choices. Because it's all well and good me being like, oh I'd replace a few here and there. But overall, those 6, it's a, it's a good 6. Like I would have loved to see, I could be like Cody, Guy, Sean, Remy. But those, those six are like some classic characters mixed in with some sick characters from Third Strike. So, yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you think below. And are you excited about it? Do you think it's going to happen? Anyway, I will see you guys soon.